माई नेम इज अक्षय आई है कम्प्लीटेड माई बैचलर्स इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेली कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एंड आई डू हैव ओवरऑल सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो इनिशियल वन एंड हाफ ईयर आई वॉज इन टू टेलीकॉम एंड नेटवर्किंग डोमेन मेर आई यूज टू प्रिपेयर द एड हॉक रिपोर्ट फॉर द नेटवर्क लाइक फाइबर ऑप्टिक नेटवर्क एंड ऑल सो लेटर ऑन आई स्विच टू द डेटा एनालिस्ट लाइक डेटा डोमेन इन जेंसर टेक्नोलॉजी सो आई वर्क एज अ डेटा एनालिस्ट ओवर देयर एंड स्टार्टेड वर्किंग विद अ डिफरेंट क्रॉस फंक्शनल टीम स्टेक होल्डर टीम टू फुलफिल देयर क्वेरीज एंड रिक्वायरमेंट रिलेटेड टू द डेटा सो दैट दे कैन रन द अप्रोप्रिएट कैम्पेन फॉर देयर इंड कस्टमर सो टेक्नोलॉजी परस्पेक्टिव आई हैड लर्न एस क्यू एल एंड टैबलू टू प्रिपेयर द रिपोर्ट्स एंड टू अ डेटा वैलिडेशन विद द डिफरेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स इन माई करंट वर्क प्लेस आई एम वर्किंग एज अ डेटा इंजीनियर एंड मोर ऑफ माई वर्क इज क्लोज टू डेवलपिंग द फ्रंट इन टैबलू डैशबोर्ड एंड बिल्डिंग ऑफ द बैक एंड एस क्यू एल क्वेरीज फॉर द सेम टैबलू डैशबोर्ड and apart from that i had also worked on the altrix tool to develop the workflow for the client like to bringing the data from the server to the front end using the altrix workflow and automate it on the monthly manner like to refresh the data on every month so that kind of work also i have done so yeah this is what in nutshell i have okay so i have seen your profile that you have mentioned some of the things that you did it take me to some online pages so i have seen what are the uh, the dashboards which you created mm -hmm. uh those uh, requirement gathering and all who then like uh, someone gathered and provide the knowledge and based on that you created or uh, you directly approached with the respective client and uh, gathered this thing and yeah actually i approach to the client basically they raise a request for their uh showing up their kpis in certain ways so based on that i approach them like in which manner they want to uh, develop the front end or and based on that requirement i build up the dashboard okay so basically you will get a touch with client not other person right yeah directly with client okay so do you have a experience in salonus and do you know what is about salonus i'm not sure about it but i will quickly check is it something related to etl or yeah it is related to etl but it's actually a process mining too mm -hmm. so I, etl I, is one of the part there okay. i ha i haven't work on that but we'll check okay so do you have any knowledge experience on process business uh, knowledge process like uh, order to cash uh, procure to pay um uh, warehouse management inventory management like that yeah yeah in my last work placed i had worked with a team who used to manage the inventory so mm. basically uh, my major task was to collect the all the relevant data from the customer history database like because the sales team wanted to propose a new order to customer like to get a good hold on customer for long term so i used to retrieve the relevant data for the target customer from the inventory management system so yeah i have like that kind of exposure okay so data they will provide so you will work accordingly no no they will give me a basic input like the who is the customer and if they have any historical order ids or work order ids of that customer so based on that input i wrote the query like sql query to retrieve the relevant data and based on that data i prepared the inventory report for that target customer okay so you mentioned sql right mm -hmm. so there are uh, different uh, sql things are there right different types of sql mm -hmm. so what you were aware of i like i mostly worked on the my sql like because the, i worked on the oracle database mostly and uh, mm -hmm. ms sql like it was a different 
because of the different database they had a different platform like on ms sql we had the ms workbench or uh, sql workbench um, sql management studio basically so a little mm -hmm. bit of change in the query but the rest of the things are the same okay so do you aware of pl sql advanced sql uh not on i have not worked on pl sql as of now but uh, i worked on advanced sql like building up the uh, uh, advanced queries like uh, using the windows function and uh, using the store procedure in some of the queries but not not extremely on high level on basic level okay uh so Akshay, uh, can you please quickly uh, mm -hmm. uh, share your whole screen? Okay, okay. Uh, let me share the current screen. Mm -hmm. Are you able to see? Yes. Can you please, uh, please open uh, uh, a new page also? A new window or new tab? Yeah. Okay. Uh, fine. Okay. Um, go to um, program. It's programs. Uh, before that, I want to check here. Mm -hmm. uh, I I just saying send hi. Can you please reply to my chat? Okay. Did you receive my chat? Yeah, I saw a notification. I'm opening the chat. Can you please reply back? Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes uh, I am not able to get the participants reply. That's why I'm checking. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay. Uh, go to program it's uh, it is a specific keyword can you help me with the exact word uh, one minute I... uh, just type uh, online sql editor a uh, sql compiler Here, uh, the second one program is right. Yeah, open it. Mm -hmm. Have you opened? Yeah, um, uh, are you able to see my screen or it is stuck? Or... I can able to see, but uh. Oh. I can able to see the mouse. Yeah. Got it, got it. Let me share the entire screen. Able to see now? Yeah, I can able to see. Okay. So, uh, here, I just want, um, there you can see three tables are there, right? Yeah. Customer, order, shipping. Mm -hmm. Here, I need the first name, last name. Mm -hmm. As well as um, their um, item, okay. their amount, okay. and status, and where uh, like uh, the people ages having greater than twenty five. Can you please write me query for that? Okay, so you need a first name, last name, item, amount, status, with the people mm -hmm. having age greater than twenty five years. 
The shipping table, like customer column, is refers to customer ID, right? For the another two table. No. Modable. Immortable, hello. Yes, Akshay. Yeah. Is this output is correct? Mm. 
the first name John plus yeah this this square is correct and if it is correct means one the why the item amount status is empty yeah i'm looking for same customer id is not present in order for the battery that's why it is not showing i think here and This should show here. okay actually uh, can in, you please uh, uh in order table the battery customer id is not present so that's why it is not returning anything in this or let me let me uh, uh, apply the join on the customer table and the shipping id so that way it will return the shipping details Yeah, you can go ahead. I think I, I did the same. Yeah. Okay. Can you please copy paste that code? Okay. Okay. Uh, go to that uh, SQL. Uh... Mm -hmm yeah there uh you joined right customer and shipping table instead of uh, shipping customers join with shipping id no no i'm saying in the shipping table join with the shipping id Now run it. Now also you are getting. Mm -hmm. Order ID is that spelling correct? Odd capital O or small O in the join? In the join, this one second join, second join ORD. Oh, oh, got you. Now run it. No, it beats again with customer. Yeah, it should be customer, yes. 
Yeah. Now you are getting status, but not about what about item. The customer ID number five is not present in order orders table. Mm hmm. Actually, from ah uh -huh. okay, we got it. For order order ID is there right? Why you are then? Why you are using customer ID? Ah, by mistakenly I did because I was not sure about customer column in shipping. What exactly this referring? Whether it is referring customer ID from orders or or from the customers table. So, yeah, Maybe it, ch check with the order ID. Customer ID equal to order dot order ID. Yeah, this way it will return. Hmm. But we have customer yeah. ID in orders table. Yeah, we are having, but okay, fine. Okay, one more. Um, here, if you see, there is the F name, right? Mm -hmm. So I need the name which is starting with J. Okay. With the same. Can you please write the query. Or for only customers. Can you please write the query? Okay. Uh, yeah, for F name only, I am telling. Mm -hmm. Please copy paste that code. Um, do you know what is about query optimization? Uh, in query optimization, I had followed the basic things like to identify the uh, re relevant fields or attributes which are needs to be used in further reporting. So only that column if we can identify from different table. So instead of okay. calling out all the fields, if we only call out relevant attributes or column from the joining condition or from different table, so that way. That is the one way to optimize. Second one is like uh, using the index method. So these two I know. Okay. So what are all the uh, Windows function that we are having? Uh, like on, I'm not able to <laughs> call out the exact numbers, but uh, most frequently I use is like row number, dense rank, rank, and uh, uh, there are lots of other like, but mostly I use this Windows function. Okay, so um, if I want to give you means like a, uh, in the order table, right? Mm -hmm. There is a customer ID. Mm -hmm. If you see means. There are some input, right? Yeah. I need uh, for that customer ID, I need the uh, rank function, dense rank function, row number function. Can you please write the query? 
rank on customer id and uh, okay okay got it Okay, let me start with the rank for now. Uh, before executing this query, can you please tell me the difference between what is rank, dense rank, uh, mm -hmm. what will be the uh, row number, yeah. what is the basic difference? Basic difference is like uh, if I am applying the row number to the orders table, then it will simply mm -hmm. add up uh, another column with the sequence of all row number like 1, 2, 3, 4 sequentially it will not check mm. uh, inside data it will simply add the next next values in row mm. function um if i am mm. using the rank then on specifically considering the customer id so it will apply the values like one two three but once it catch the duplicate value like in customer id so it will give a same number to the next value like four four it will apply one but when it comes to row number 3, it will give the uh, rank as a 3. It will skip 2 in the rank function. And in the dense rank, it will not skip 2. It will apply 2 to the row number 3. Oh, could you please write down the query? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not sure about the exact keywords, like, uh, but I will try, uh, try to write a query. So we simply have to apply on customer right? no need to sorting, right? Just apply it. Okay, okay. Some orders. Okay. Uh, this is dense rank. Can you please make it fast because it's yeah. Uh, uh, let me directly call. Same. Only I need to change the Windows function. Here. This may return error because I'm not sure exact keyword, but we use the same.
will be fine. Huh? This should work, but I'm not sure of uh, exact uh, uh, abbreviation here about uh, Windows function. I think it's okay. Fine. Can you please copy paste that okay. code? Yeah. And do you know uh, what is index in SQL? What it is doing? Uh, index is mostly used to uh, optimize the query performance, like reducing the run time. Uh, it can be applied to a, a table which which we frequently call out while executing the SQL query. Like we can define mm -hmm. on a particular column. Mostly uh, I saw unique index has applied. Okay. What's the difference between union and union all? So in union, uh, we update a table or get a table and add the data uh, row wise like we don't add the column we update the rows in the table and it will only return the uh, unique records in union and in union all it consider the duplicate rows also okay um what is about stored procedure uh, store procedure is a uh, kind of functions that we you know, if you consider other programming language, we defined a function, a, a set of rule, and we call it out repeatedly whenever we need. The same same happened in SQL. Like we wrote a SQL query, and uh, that part if we are using repeatedly with with our actual query. Then we use the store procedure and call that particular set of query whenever we need. okay okay thank you akshay yeah thanks thanks Brandon. thank you for your time yeah thank yeah. you